Hey campers, so this is uh, your circuit card activity and I'm going to kind of do it along with you so that if you get stuck using the directions that are in your journal, you can kind of refer to this video to give you a little bit of help. So we're going to turn this blank card into a card that will light up when you open it and the flower will light up and you can give it to somebody special. So your very first step is to cut out all of your pieces. Um, you want to be as accurate as you can because you're going to be folding these pieces um, into the card. So you want to make sure that you're using a good scissors and make sure you're cutting them as carefully as you can um, following getting as much of the white off um, and cutting right on the line so like you'll notice uh, this one has some little cutouts, so cut really carefully. If cutting is a struggle for you, you might want to ask a mom or dad to help you a little bit to make sure that you get it as careful as you can. So that's your first step. Okay, your next step is going to be taking each of your flowers and creating a three-dimensional flower. So see how that goes from being flat to when I, oh, that's my dog, to when I overlap two of those petals, it becomes kind of like a cup. So the easiest way for me to show you how to do that is if I take one of the flat ones and I fold it in half so that one petal is still sticking up and showing, the rest of it is in half. And then if I open it back up and just fold each of the petals one by one toward the inside, it creates the folds that I need. So I'm just folding uh, the colored side toward each other on each fold. And then when I get all the way around, be really careful with your folding that you're being as accurate as you can. Then when I take my last two and I overlap them, it forms that little cup shape. So that's what you want to do to all three of your petals right now. Okay, for our next step, you're going to want to get your glue stick that's part of your camp kit. And you are going to be taking those two flaps and gluing them one over each other. So you're just going to put a little bit of glue on one of the flaps. And you're going to tuck that other flap right in there so that it stays in that cup shape. So right now do that with each of your three petals. Okay, perfect. You should have three cup shaped petals right now. Now, what we want to do is once though that glue is dry, your petals will fold perfectly in half. So fold each of your uh, three petals exactly in half. Fold them as carefully as you can. You want to be at the best cutter and the best folder for this project that you can be so that it turns out as close to perfect as we can. So do that with all three of your petals. Okay, now we're ready to take our three flowers together and create the three-dimensional flower that we need. So I want you to take two of your flowers and your glue stick and I want you to take one of them and I want you to put a little bit of glue on the far right side, okay? Just on one of the petals right there on the right side. And then you're gonna take the second one and you're gonna overlap them so that they are stuck together like this. So I have my two flowers um, when you can see that I can start to open them up, they're going to be making that three-dimensional model. Now it leaves me a little space right in there, and that is where this flower is going to go. So you can see that I'm going to need a little bit, if you kind of open it up a little bit, you can see right where that last flower, I'm going to line that up a little bit better, where that last flower is going to fit right in there. So I'm going to add a little bit right in that gap, I'm going to add some glue right there, right in that little crease, and I'm going to tuck my last flower right in there and make sure that glue is good and stuck. And then when I open it up, I have this th beautiful three-dimensional flower that we are ready to light up with circuit tape. So that'll be our next step. So let me get ready for our next step. 
Okay, in your kit for today, uh, you have this little bag inside your bigger bag. And I want you to find your LED light that is in there. So you have a little yellow LED stands for light emitting diode. So you have a little, it looks like a little tiny guy with two very long legs. And you can just keep his legs together for right now. We are going to separate those and attach them to our conductive tape really soon. But for right now, I want you to keep them together. And I want you to take your flower. And if you kind of look, I don't know if you can see it in mine. If I open one of my flowers, I can see there's a little gap that's left there. Whoops, dropped my light emoting diode. And I am going to insert the legs through that little hole so that my light is sticking in that flower. So you can see that on mine. You do that on yours right now, and then we'll get ready to attach that to our card. Okay, we are gonna get ready with our card. So I want you to get your white card, and I want you to get your flower pot. And what I want you to do is you're gonna fold your flower pot so that the white sides touch. So fold it as perfectly as you can down the middle in half, and then open that back up. And then you can see how there are kind of these two flaps on the sides. You're gonna bend those toward the back. So from the back, your pot is gonna look like this with those little flaps bending down. So do that on yours now. Okay, the next step is going to be to add your pot into your card. So I want you to open your card up so that it's open. And you're gonna really, really carefully line up the fold that you made in your pot with the fold in your card. So carefully line those up so that they match perfectly because you want your card to fold like a pop-up card when you fold it in half. And you're gonna put just a little bit of glue on these two tabs, and then you're gonna carefully line it up kind of near the bottom, kind of the bottom half. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so once you've done that step, your card should fold. One note, I did tape or uh, glue my little flaps down here on there because every time I folded it, they kind of came loose. So I did tape or glue those, but if you look at that kind of from the top, you can see how your card should fold like that. And that's actually what's gonna help us to open and close our circuit is when your card is open, that's gonna make your battery touch your conductive tape. And when your card is closed, it's gonna pull the battery away from the conductive tape to turn off your light. So our next step is going to be to be putting our flower into our card. So if you kind of, so you're going to want to find where your LED legs are. So those are going to need to be aiming down. So if you kind of see mine, I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can uh, kind of see them right there. So I kind of have them aiming down and you want to make sure that when you put your, them in your card, they're aiming down because we're going to connect. Uh, so my legs are right here. And if you notice, I can kind of set that into the, uh, into the crick of the card there, into the fold. And I am going to put glue on it so that the legs of my card are aiming down. Don't glue them down because we are going to move them a little bit. Um, but your card should be able to close. Um, and you can kind of see how when I do that, my flower just folds right up. Um, so you're going to put some glue on the back of your flower and glue it right into the crease of your card. So do that now and I'll show you mine in just a second what it looks like. Okay, so hopefully your card is doing this now. Now to this next step I found a little bit tricky, but when you look underneath there, we want to be able to see, see how close I can get your diode. The little legs of your diode are sticking down, um, your uh, LED is sticking down. And what I did, the legs were kind of like this. I spread them out a little bit because I am going to be using next my two pieces of conductive tape. So you want to go into your little baggie and you want to pull out your two pieces of conductive tape. Now these tape are actually made of a type of metal. 
And metal is what we call a conductor. It is able to conduct electricity. And so we are going to use these as the wires um, in our circuit. And these are going to connect um, from those little legs that, um, of your LED to the battery. And that's going to make our full circuit or our full circle that the electrons can run through to turn the light bulb on. So this tape has a, um, a backing on it. And so you're going to really carefully pull the backing off. I would do one piece at a time. So you want to kind of, I don't know, and this might take like a mom or dad to just kind of help you if you're struggling to get uh, the backing off. Obviously, I'm struggling a little bit. Uh, there we go. So I can kind of get a hold of, and you want to be as careful with this tape as you can. So pull the backing off. And what's really important in this step, this is we're going to go behind um, the, um, and I'm actually just going to kind of loosen up my, uh, my flap there. And I want to make sure that when I do this, that my one of the legs of my LED needs to be touching my conductive tape. And then my conductive tape is going to run straight down behind my pot. So let me do mine, and then you, I will show you what I have done. Okay, so here is where we complete our circuit. So I want to show you what I have done. So on the right side, I have put my conductive tape over the little leg of the LED, and I have run that one straight down. Now on the left side, I've also tucked the little leg under my tape so that it is touching metal to metal, because that's a conductor. And then when I got to the bottom, I actually attached my battery, which is in your little baggie, and I've used the negative side of the battery. So make sure you look at your battery. There's a little plus on one side. So you want to attach to the left side. Now I want to show you how cool this is. Watch what happens when I touch my battery over to the other side, my light bulb turns on. So I've made a complete circuit. So I'm going to turn it off by having it not attached. And then when I am able to slide that over, it lights up my bulb. Now what we want to do is we want to attach that battery to the back side of our um, pot so that when our card is open, it allows that to touch and turn on. And when our card is closed, it will take that off and turn our light off. So I want you to work on attaching your battery to the back of your pot so that you can control whether your circuit is on or off. And then you will have finished your card. And then if you want, you can decorate something on the front, uh, give it to your mom, give it to your grandma, make somebody's day by giving them a really cool card that uses um, a circuit uh, to light up the card. I hope you had a great success with that and done a great job. Good work.